Sabta is always the time to, to, get, to gather together in the heavy iron field and to see what is the progress of the different subfields, let's say, and to, to try to get a coherent picture of what is happening. And I think what, what is very important that, that we have a, um, a better clue what are the limits of fluid dynamics applicability in our field and what is the role of what, what has been called in the recent future collectivity and the understanding mainly of ion ion collisions. And I think that's a crucial question for us as a field to answer in order to see um, what, what uh, actually we are looking at, what kind of system we want to characterize. And here I think um, at this quark matter will be important to see what will be the theory input on these questions because now we have, we have a lot of experimental data and we, we see a lot of output coming in. But um, I think we need to, to have a better feeling what, what could be ways of exploiting the data that we take in this large amount of, of nice results in a better way and maybe to, to define new observables and to look further into this development. So I'm working at the moment mainly on quaconium in proton lead collisions, but also on the simulation of, of the LCD experiment in heavy ion collisions and to some extent on, on the plans for, for future upgrades and what is the capability of the detector in, in the future. So the LECB collaboration at this quark matter presented first results, and this I think is the, the result which is most interesting, the first cross-section results in proton-helium collision. So in, uh, usually we have um, at the LEC we collide uh, ions or protons in collider mode, but in LCB we can also use fixed target and this time we present for the first time a cross-section for, for heavy flavor for both for J-Size so or for hidden charm, but also for D0 and that's a very exciting opportunity also not only for proton-induced reaction like in the proton-helium case but also for the future to look at ion-ion collisions in order to study quark-lumen plasma effects with quarkonium which is very interesting in view of the confinement. Furthermore, we, we also present for the first time results using the lead-lead data sample that was taken in 2015, where we used ultra-peripheral collisions, so where basically a photon is probing the nucleus. And there we, we had the first look at the JSI cross-section and we, we showed this. And furthermore, we have the, the, an update on the Lambda-C cross-section and P-LED collision, so this is more basically in the standard uh, expertise of, of LACB where we know that we can do the things very well and there we were able to present the first result of the 5 TV data set and will be even more interesting to, to get an update later on with, with the 20 times larger luminosity in the future which we acquired at a higher collision energy. Uh -huh.